diseases of obesity. We are talking about type 2 diabetes, hypertension, lipid problems, so blood fats, if you will, heart disease. Those are sort of the big four, if you will, that constitute what we classically call the metabolic syndrome. However, we now know that there are several other diseases that fall within this scope as well. For instance, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which now affects one-third of all Americans. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, which affects 10% of all women. Cancer, and also dementia. Now here's the key. Everyone thinks that those downstream diseases are because of the obesity. And that could not be further from the truth. The obesity travels with those diseases, but the obesity is a marker for those diseases. 20% of obese people have a completely normal cellular metabolism, and they will live to a normal age. 40% of thin people, normal weight people, have those same chronic metabolic diseases and will die of them. Nobody dies of the obesity per se. They die of the diseases that come from the metabolic dysfunction. So when you do the math, that accounts for 60% of America. We are not talking about a minority. We are talking about the majority. So when you add up the medical costs for those eight diseases, that is 75% of health care expenditures. Not just ours, not just America, but all over the world. So much so that in September 2011, the United Nations Secretary General announced that non-communicable disease, that is chronic metabolic disease, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, cancer, dementia, now posed a bigger threat to the developing world, not the developed world, the developing world, than did acute infectious disease, and that includes HIV. This is enormous. This is mind-boggling. This is absolutely staggering.